All right, fellas, today we're talking about which exercise gets you to your largest. We're talking about your Johnson, your Mammy, whatever you want to call it. What exercise is going to get you there? And this question came from the comment section. Yeah, Russell, I got you. Here's the answer. And uh, here's the thing. Some of you are not going to like the answer. Hey, my name is Brian, a.k.a. Uncle B. I'm the men's performance coach with Goodwood. And uh, yeah, as a coach, we answer these questions and I had to do some research on this because, you know, I always say burpees is the, the exercise you want to use for sexual performance. But what is going to get you larger? Hmm. So today what we're going to talk about specifically are the differences between penis enlargement and penis enhancement. Enhancement, and then we're going to go into the exercise and what you need to know about it, what you need to be careful about, along with a whole list of benefits. So if you like what you hear, go ahead hit that like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. And what I'm about to do is get this exercise on and break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. All right, so let me just go ahead and say uh, right off, no exercise is going to actually directly affect your uh, your growth because the size of your penis is determined by genetics and, you know, your, your hormone levels. Now, you can improve your cardiovascular, you can improve your testosterone. Those are the two things that are going to mainly help you with getting to a larger size. But there are a couple of reasons why you want to do this regardless because there's such a thing as penis atrophy. That's mean you're getting smaller. So when you're, you know, your 20s, you're at your largest and your 80s, hey, you can start shrinking on you. And also, most men are... 30% smaller than what they could be. That's because, you know, you're just sitting around. Your lifestyle is completely different. But once you start maximizing that testosterone and that blood flow, then you can change things around. You can get to your largest size possible. And also, just as an aside, women have different sizes too. So, uh, yeah, there's some that you have to freaking crack like a lock and other ones are like an ocean. So, uh, your size and her size need to match more than just your size. So, the exercise that will get you into that... Uh, Growth stage, yes, sprinting, <laughs> yes, sprinting. Going as hard as you possibly can for a short period of time. And we're talking about sprint interval training. That's where you're like going as hard as you possibly can for 20 seconds and then you're taking like up to a four minute break and doing that again four to five times. And we're talking about just three times a week. Do not overdo this because sprinting is an explosive and violent exercise. I mean, your body is going for it. Almost like you're levitating. I mean, think about it, is your body's the less contact with the earth possible for a very short period of time. You're basically defying gravity. And what that does is starts affecting your body at the cellular level. And what that ends up meaning is that sprinting actually triggers the release of anabolic hormones um, like testosterone and human growth hormone. We're talking about for human growth hormone, some say up to 700 to 2000%. And this was done by a study of acute hormonal responses to different types of interval sprint interval training and this study was done back in 2013 now here's something else that's really interesting as far as penis growth it's called capillarization and basically you're increasing the number of capillaries that are in your muscles that way you're getting more oxygen more blood flow to your muscles and once again this is needed along with the nutrients getting to your penis in order for you to get to your best size possible and this study was done basically to describe how sprinting and high intensity exercise promotes capillary growth in muscle and it was called angiogenesis and vascular adaptation to exercise so really quick when we talk about penis enlargement and penis enhancement i want to be very clear about this penis enlargement typically means you're trying to do something external to get yourself to grow. We're talking about the penile implant surgery. Don't do that. Fat transfer. Don't do that. Penis extenders, penis pumps. Some people talk about that like they, it works. You have to be very careful with your penis because, hey, you stretch something too too far, you damage capillaries down there, it takes a long time to get that back. But when you're talking about penis enhancement, you're talking about the things that you need to do just to make it actually appear better, be better, work better. And this, of course, means those lifestyle changes, which sprinting is. And of course, you can use supplements to supplement the whole process. Obviously, I'm gonna recommend Goodwood, so you can check out givegoodwood.com and see what supplements will work for you in your sprinting routine. And overall, it just helps you with the process of increasing your testosterone and your blood flow 
all of this just works in together so you can get bigger. Of course, there are a whole bunch of side benefits that are going to help your body, which overall means that it's going to help you get to the biggest size possible. We're talking about reduction of body fat, increased endorphin levels. We're talking about those feel good hormones so you actually feel better, which will give you that confidence, which will help you with that growth because you're lowering cortisol. All ties in together. Enhanced muscular strength and endurance. This also helps with your levels of testosterone. The more muscle you have, the better. And of course, you're going to get that boosted confidence. Sprinting also helps increase your sleep quality. Your testosterone is formed while you sleep. So having better sleep, more testosterone, we're getting that growth in. Reducing stress levels. We talked about that cortisol. So cortisol is going to stress you out and is not helpful for your body in order to increase that testosterone and blood flow to your genitals. And having that increased energy levels, that's just going to help you overall, period. And one last thing it does, sprinting helps with the prevention of lifestyle diseases. So we're talking about obesity, diabetes, hypertension. Yes, if you have less of all those things, you're gonna have a better growth. So overall, sprinting is going to give you a ton of benefits that increase testosterone and increase blood flow, better sleep, better health, all of these things add up. So yes, that's why I would recommend getting into sprint interval training so that you can get all these benefits and you can get to growing. So guys, if you want some more of this information, go ahead down to the link below. You can click on that and you get onto our newsletter that'll give you more information. You get more updates, not just depending on the YouTube algorithms. So not only will you learn about uh, sprinting and getting into the best shape possible, but you'll also learn about everything else you need to know. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave that in the comment section so we can go ahead and get a video in. I like getting these questions because I didn't think about the sprinting part, but mm, yeah, it's worth it. So once again, this is Brian, a.k.a. Uncle B. Get your game up and go hard. Peace out.